Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Grim Plays Warhammer Quest. We're going to dive back in where we left off. Uh, we had just rescued the, well, not rescued, found the body of the halfling covered in mushrooms and returned him to his mother. Um, and uh, left it at that. That was a level 2 quest, so it was lower than what we you know, are actually prepared for, uh, but it's okay, I wanted to get that done, so now I've done five out of the nine potential quests in the Sterland area, and uh, now I can travel uh, back to Wurtbad, and I believe Wolfspock had level four quests, but uh, I'm going to check these out just to see if there's anything worth getting. Uh, the Warrior Priest... Hammer of the Inscrolled Iron. Uh, age 10, critical chance, plus one strength and minus one toughness. Mm, not sure it's worth it. We already did get a good um, hammer for him. And we don't currently use the priest, so it really doesn't make much of a difference. So we, right now we have an 8 to 10 critical chance, plus two strength. Uh, but doesn't have that minus to toughness, uh, so it's plus two. So, so actually, what I have is a better weapon for him. So there's kind of no point in doing that. But let's go. I have to travel through different areas in order to get to work bad. Okay. Let's check out the market while we're here. Let's see. Let's see here. Uh, probably couldn't hurt to go ahead and get those bandages. Let's also look and see what else they have. Assorted sausages, uh, Reinhardt's cleaver. That's a five to nine. Plus two toughness weapon for the Marauder. Hmm. No, nothing really dire need, but I'll go ahead and get the medium. Um, go ahead and get the medium bandages and let's see what are the quests here we have beasts of burden which is a level two quest we have rescue the brewer um, that same hammer again and kill gut fang uh, let's see i'm gonna travel to work bad because I think that was a level 4 quest over there. Again, let's check out the market. Let's see. Masterwork Mace. I don't have enough money for that, but that's a 8 to 10 12. Or sorry, 10 to, 10 to 12 damage weapon with a critical chance. Um, Masterwork Short Sword. That would be good for the wizard. But I'm just shy, about 200 gold on that. I don't really think I have anything I can sell other than that fine hammer. But I'm not sure I want to spend the money to get just to get that. I don't really you do a lot of melee combat with the wizard, so... <clears throat> might not really be worth it. But... We did reach an area that does have that level 4 quest. <coughs> mm, excuse me. We did have a... We did reach that area with the level 4 quest. Count the fools. So let's check that out. Just to see what the other quests available are. We do have the... Ro robes of... Aksh... Akshai? for the Bright Wizard, plus one power. Don't use the Bright Wizard. Uh, kill Scar does. 
and Shield of the Maw. Uh, it's for the Ogre Iron Gut, plus two pinning and plus one toughness. So basically, I have the ability to pin the enemies in place and I get some extra, you know, defense. It, it you know, looks like it'd be a nice weapon if I use the Ogre Iron Gut, but I don't, so not worth it. <clears throat> so, we're going to go into the Count the Fool's um, adventure. So let's head into the darkness once again. <clears throat> okay. And we are almost to level 5 with the Marauder and level 4 with the uh, Way Watcher. And about halfway to level four with three J. So I think we'll be okay with two level four characters and two level three. We'll see. <coughs> Count the fools. Dungeoneering is rarely a simple case of finding a magic sword hidden under the ground. Through no real fault of your own, your party has become pawns in a power struggle struggle between two nobles. Somewhere in this dungeon is the lost and no doubt confused cousin of the Electric Count of Ostermark. You must hunt him down and read between, reading between the lines of Lightdorf's instructions, never let him see the light of day again. If you fail to do this, you will incur the wrath of a very powerful enemy. <coughs> so it sounds like we're doing something this little questionable as far as morals are concerned. Well. Let's head into the darkness. Five orc boys attacked right off the bat. Okay. Let's get the wizard up here. And I can hit at least three back here. Or that. Let's do those three. And let's try one more time. Okay, I can cast it one more time, but I think I can't, I can either do here and get these two, um, this orc boy that has three left, because if I do this one that has two left, I might kill him, but at the same time I'm not doing any extra damage, so I'm not really sure if that's worth it. Okay, well, let's, let's see, how far can he move? <clears throat> let's do this. Let's move the dwarf into the room and fight that orc. And he did nothing. Okay. Let's move the elf into the room. Let's see if she can take out these two. Good job. And let's go for the other low guy. Okay. And let's see if she can take out this last one with her sword. No. That's okay. <clears throat> let's take care of this guy over here. Because if he attacks the dwarf, the dwarf can definitely take the hit. Can't move him any further, and really not worth casting Shadow Bolt because the dwarf would be in the range of that. So we'll go ahead and end our turn here. Okay, and he did attack the dwarf, so no big deal there. Let's see here. And move the wizard up. We're going to cast Shadow Daggers. And keep casting Shadow Daggers. It does between 1 and 2 damage, so not a whole lot of damage. But I'm only using 1 magic each time I do that. Oh, it does up to 3 it looks like. Okay. Poisonous Fang, so a sellable item. Not really that much. Okay. Let's go ahead and move the Dwarf into the next room. Okay, this one's just a hallway. And go 
go ahead and catch everybody else up. Except the wizard, because the wizard used his turn to attack that orc. Alright, and our turn. Awesome. Okay, excellent. Getting ready for the next room. Alright, move the dwarf in first. We have two. Oh! Two night goblin big bosses and eight snotlings. The snotlings aren't much, but those goblin big bosses have about 20 something, 25 usually, or 24 uh, hit points, I believe. So let's check them out. Oh, 36. Wow. Okay, so much higher. And he has a cursed black blade? Hmm. That doesn't sound good. So let's do this. Let's bring the wizard into range and let's try and get I'm gonna get as many of the snotlings as I can hopefully I kill them <laughs> awesome so kill three of them okay and let's cast it here see if we can take out those other two snotlings and maybe do some damage to the night goblin big bosses And I don't have enough to cast anything else. So let's, let's see here. <clears throat> let's move the dwarf in. I'm gonna do, see if I can do some damage against the big boss. Okay, at least got one of them down. Um, let's pull the marauder in there and see if I can clear out more of the snotlings. Awesome. Excellent. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the I'm going to pull the wayfinder in here. Shoot twice at the night goblin big boss. Okay. We got some health off them, and see if we can take these last snotlings out. <laughs> Nicely done. Okay, so we cleared most of the room. Just the night goblin big boss left. He does have that cursed black blade. I'm really wondering what that's going to do to me, and we'll we'll see. I might be in for a world of hurt here. <clears throat> okay, he missed, and. Okay, he missed. Whew. Oh. Oh. Really? Two more Night Goblin Big Bosses show up. Okay. So, he's pinned. He's pinned. Let's do this. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. If we can. Okay, that's one Goblin Boss down. Let's try and get rid of the guy with the black blade. Actually, I'm going to do something I'm probably going to regret, but let's bring the wizard in. Cast shadow daggers on this guy. He'll get to attack that guy as well. See if he can take out the goblin big boss. <laughs> Yay! Alright. I should have waited to move him because I could have unpinned him in that instance and moved him forward. But that's okay. We'll move the Wayfinder back because she gets two attacks with the bow. Alright. Awesome. So it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Plus four strength, potion of strength. That'd be a good item for either the dwarf or the marauder. And a uh, ring of lesser restoration, one wound per turn. Hmm. Might have to look and see if that would be worth giving to somebody. Maybe to the marauder and the, or the dwarf since they do take a brunt of the damage. Alright. Step into the darkness once again. Just 
Just a hallway. Awesome. Okay. Let's catch these guys up. Okay. Oh, once again we have a choice. Left or straight in this case. Or right. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go up. Let's see where that takes us. Since last time I went to the left, or in you know, in this case it's straight, but yeah, you guys know what I mean. Let's see. Okay, a hallway. Looks like that's going to be the dead end, maybe, unless it turns back and goes goes uh, up again. Okay. Land our turn there. <coughs> okay. End our turn again. And let's see what we get. Night Goblin Bosses. Whoa, here we go again. Night Goblin Big Boss, Night Goblin Boss, Night Goblin with Bow. Okay, another big room, and they did, looks like it turned upward again. All right, so let's bring the wizard over here. Cast Shadow Bolt back here. Okay, he at least got one. I'm gonna bring the Marauder up. Okay. Awesome. Now let's bring the Dwarf over here. Blade of Distortion. Oh. Okay, let's bring the Wayfinder in here. Cutting edge blade, blade of distortion. So we got a couple big weapons in here, and that's just an eye goblin with the bow. Hmm. Let's bring him up. Alright, we'll end our turn and see what happens. This could go bad. Okay, he missed. Awesome. Okay. Okay, only four damage. That's not too bad. Could have been a lot worse. Okay. Let's... Let's bring the Marauder in here and start attacking the Night Goblin ball. Excellent. Let's try and take out the big boss. Okay. And I'm going to bring the Wayfinder over here. Shoot twice at the big boss. Nice. Okay. And see if she can take out that Night Goblin. Okay. Nothing. So... If I bring the wizard up and attack with the with the um, shadow daggers, I'm likely to hurt her. But let's try and see if he can get him with a sword. Okay, excellent. All right, so he does still have some magic left. I'm going to go ahead and cast Healing Mist on the Dwarf. Back up to full, hopefully. Nope. Okay, we'll try again. Okay, excellent. He's back to full. Alright, we'll end our turn there. And move the Dwarf down further. And back to another hallway. Ah, it's a dead end, so might as well just go ahead and turn around. Okay. 
back so you can see a little better. All right. a little bit. All right, let's move the dwarf in first. Three orc boss and four orc arvoys. Okay, orc bosses, 32 hit points apiece. So we're starting to get bigger, bigger and badder uh, enemies. So, not exactly... And this looks like another dead end too. So interesting. Didn't say anything about the count of fools. All right, well let's check out this R boy. Let's see if we can take out this big boss or orc boss. We're back to whiffing. Okay. Try and do some damage to these R boys. Let's see if we can get this one in the back. Nice. Okay, so hopefully all we have to deal with is the big bads. I, mean, I don't want to deal with the big bads so much, but hey, <laughs> we'll see. Okay, nothing else I can really do, so I'm going to end my turn there. Hmm, goes all the way to the dwarf, huh? Ooh, nasty damage. Okay. So let's, since there's no one else he can really attack because he's pinned, and I want to try and get some healing to him. Wait to. Uh, hmm. Let's see if we can. Tax for that to work. That's okay. We'll use the small bandages on him. We'll cast Shadow Bolt. some healing to Marauder. Not a whole lot I can do. Although let's actually use the gray the gray hat. The college hat. Okay. Cast healing mist. There we go. Decent healing back. Okay. And might as well give it a shot. Okay, he doesn't like me very much right now. <laughs> I could do the finger of death scroll. 
but I think I'll wait and we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed that I don't get killed. Okay, he missed. Ooh, I had a feeling that was gonna be nasty. Oh no no. Oh no no no. Eesh. Not good. Alright. Let's use the berserk or marauder. Keep wanting to call him berserker. That flow. Nicely done. Okay. Amethyst and stash. Counterful in the corner stood shivering dirty. And half mad with panic is a young man barely out of his teenage years. He stumbles forward in his once fine clothes, now torn and dirty. At last, I know my cousin would not let me down. You have come to save me, haven't you? In his hand, he carries a bloody short sword. Perhaps, surprisingly, this man is no courtly fop. He obviously knows how to handle a sword, or else he would have been killed long ago. If you're going to strike, now is the time. Will you fight the Viscount? Remember what I said? I tend to play good characters. I don't think I'm going to kill him. I'm going to suffer the consequences, whatever they may be, but I'm not going to kill this man. Two of your warriors step forward to offer support and help to the, help the young noble out of the dungeon. Between sobs, he witters how grateful he is and that his father and cousin owe the adventurers a great debt of gratitude. He mutters on how he knows where his captors took him and where his purse lies in the undergrowth. The adventurers discount this as babble from a madman deprived of water and food for too long. Yet, when they reach the surface, the young noble insists they follow him and to the surprise of the party, your party, they come across the Viscount's purse and a few belongings that were lost in the initial struggle. A horse is found close by one of the Viscounts that didn't have a sense to run. The noble throws the warriors the purse and mounts his horse. I must get back to my lands quickly. It's best if we are not seen together for your own safety by all accounts. There will be repercussions for this outrage. You mark my words. I suggest you put some distance between yourself and Wartbad. The Viscount pulls on the reins and gallops away. So we did our good deed and we to get something for it. Let's see how we did on experience. Awesome. We have two ready for training. Uh, Seth Hala and Kark. Wow. Ulrich really didn't do a whole lot of damage. Or a lot of killing anyway. We only have one option, which is going back to Wurtbad. So we're going to travel. We're going to see what happens when we get into Wurtbad. We're probably going to be you know, captured or something along those lines. Let's see what happens. Hmm. So we rescue the Viscount and... Oh, it didn't say anything. Okay. So I have 3,272 gold. Let's go to the training grounds. It'll cost 2,000 to increase him. And probably 1,000 for her. Yeah, 1,000 for her. Let's go ahead and upgrade uh, Sathela. And let's see what happens. Blows to skill 4, wounds 23, rapid strike. The Whale Watcher's base number of attacks is increased by one. Okay. So, I don't know if that's going to be melee strikes or if that's her ranged ability. It looks, based on the picture, it looks like it's the sword, so it's probably her melee ability. Okay. We do have enough. Uh, let's just go to the market real quick. <laughs> Masterwork Longsword, which is probably, yep, would have been okay for the wizard. Same thing, 9 to 11, increased chance to hit with a melee weapon. I really want to get the wizard a better weapon, because he just has a kind of not-so-great sword. But let's go ahead and 
upgrade the Cargo the Mighty and use all our gold. Oh, skill 5, Strength 7, Wounds 30, Melee Attacks 3, so his base 3 attacks, okay, awesome. And his pinning does go up. The Marauder is sometimes able to ignore a wound that would normally knock him down. When this happens, he remains standing with one wound remaining. So, okay, so hopefully that helps in the, you know, coming battles that he, you know, doesn't get knocked out. Drugged. Visiting a local host hostelry in a rather seedy area, your warrior partakes of a curious drink offered to him by the bartender. After one swig, he feels the effects of the liquid take hold. He has been drugged. Oh no. The liquid in question is a very is a simply a very strong ale. The warrior quickly gets a taste for it. The only ill effect is the pounding head the next morning. Okay, so that's not too bad. Alright, let's do go to the market and see about selling. The poisonous fang. And the amethyst. And let's go ahead and look at our equipment. We do have that Ring of Lesser Restoration. Um, we'll look at the other stuff as well. So let's see here. She did use a bandage, so we'll go ahead and give the bandage back to her. I never use these stone bread, so I'm gonna actually give him the ring of restoration. We'll see where that goes. I think we're okay. Uh, he's got the finger of death scroll, the scroll of healing. Let's actually take away the bandages and give him a lesser fire scroll so that way if we do run into a situation where we have extra damage we need to do and it's just like a couple damage left and we can take something out let's uh, give that to him okay so we're gonna sell this stone bread all right Not really a whole lot I can buy with 317 gold. I can do the small provisions, but I'll hold off for now because I've already got two. Okay, well, I want to thank you for coming along on another Grim Plays Warhammer Quest. And, uh, you know, thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed playing. Uh, if you did like it, please like or like comment or subscribe i appreciate it and uh want to thank you again like i said i just do this for fun i hope you come along and enjoy it with me <laughs>